Okay, so this is a remake of PT using the Unreal Engine. It's really good. It's really scary. Um, I don't quite remember if it's exactly like PT. Um, it's really cool, though. I like it a lot. Um, it's really short, just like PT. Um, it looks It looks really great, though. Let's just get into it. Watch out, the gap in the door. It's a separate reality. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? Okay, so we just need to go through the hallway a number of times and then doing specific sequences. Because um, there is an actual ending. Um, it's really cool. I like it. So the first thing we do is we just go through the door. The father went to the trunk of his car, retrieved the rifle, and shot his wife as she was cleaning up the kitchen after lunch. When his 10-year-old son came to investigate the commotion, the father shot him too. His six-year-old daughter had the good sense to hide in the bathroom, but reports suggest he lured her out by telling her it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point-blank range. The mother, who he shot in the stomach, was pregnant at the time. Police arriving on scene after neighbors called 9-11 found... 9-11. Okay, so second sequence. I'll go over here, get to the end of the, the hallway with the door. It's locked, turn around. Banging on the door. Okay, and then go to the end of, or the middle of this hallway. You see this little picture on the ground. My voice, can you hear it? This sign, can you read it? I'll wait forever if you'll just come to me. Okay, so read that. And then this door is open. Go through. Okay, here's the third sequence. You're banging on the door and then hear anything or you'll hear some shit go through okay fourth sequence <clears throat> door closes go up to the door bathroom opens You have baby crying, and then you want to peek in. Get out! Yeah, no one wants you to look in there. Door closes. This door opens. And then... Fifth sequence. This is where it gets spooky. Oh my god. What an idiot. Cool. This light turns on. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. After this one, we can get the um, flashlight. This is the sixth sequence. Go in. This should be open now. Here's the flashlight. You get locked in. There's a little baby thing. Essentially, you just have to wait until the door opens by itself, and then you can keep going. 
And then once the store opens, <clears throat> excuse me, we can get all the um, portrait parts. So if you go back over here, I think it's right here. Yeah, see all these pieces of um, like picture missing. There's one right here. A plant. There's one right here in the can. And then there's one right here in the corner. That's three. There's one up here. Fucker. There we go. This one right here. I think, huh? Where is it? Yeah, right here. And then where's the last one? Oh, it's on the stairs. <clears throat> this allows you to get to the quote unquote ending. Okay, now it's getting spooky. So let's gouge it out. Listen to this guy first. Okay, so you go up to this picture and you press X to gouge it out. That unlocks the door. Forgive me, Lisa, there's a monster inside of me. Okay. Next sequence. Window crashing. Next sequence. Now the lights are red. It's getting spooky. And then you should see a fridge dripping blood. After killing his family, the father hung himself with a garden hose he had in the garage. Fuck that. Keep going. Okay. And then it's swinging faster now. If you go over here, back to the phone, it'll say hello. You look away and look back, look away, look back, look away, and then look back, look away. Look back until it just says the O and the exclamation mark. And then you go over here. You hear that laughing. I can hear them calling to me from hell. So you keep going. It's like a foreign language, but it's all demonic or something. Uh, you keep going. This is where you get to run. You just want to keep running until you see a portrait on the wall missing, and there's a hole there instead. Keep going. This is really cool. You see, like, there's eyes and shit where the portraits are. Including this one. Yep. 
Oh, here we go. So you go, and then you look in. So brutal. So essentially, you just you got fired, so you drowned your sorrows in booze. She had to get a part time job working a grocery store cash register. Only reason she could earn a wage at all is the manager liked how she looked in a skirt. You remember, right? Exactly ten months back. Oh, fucking K? <laughs> that didn't happen the first time I played. Shut up, you stupid baby. Fucking hell. Alright. Fair enough. Let's end this. <laughs> so technically this is the ninth hallway. So we just have to go through like the last process. I'm just going through this hallway. Technically, we haven't left the hallway yet. We have to go through this and then start the 10th hallway. Doing something wrong. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to do this the glitch one. Kind of works if you go in here. Well, maybe it's random. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite chocolate company. Chocolate. Very good. Two zero four eight six three. Two zero four eight six three. Two zero four eight six three. Two zero four eight six Yep, and then it crashes, and then it starts over. Um, that's part of the game. And then it goes through this kind of intro sequence again. So you start out here again. Spooky again. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to wait until the clock starts ringing. Like the... The chimes, take 10 steps, and then stop. Okay, looks like we didn't get it the first time. Okay, keep going. Then get it the second time, keep going. Or the third time, let's just keep going. I don't know, we got a green light.
going. Again, we're waiting for that, uh, the bells on the clock to start ringing because it's going to be midnight. See right there. All right, keep going. This will be endless until you find the pictures, by the way. No matter what you do, no matter how many times you go through, unless you find the pictures, you cannot quote-unquote finish it. What happens if we stay? Is the thing in here? Yep, the thing's in here. Once again, we're waiting for those um, bells to ring. Because what we need to do is specific sequence so we can get Lisa to appear. And then we're going to want to do another sequence. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hear the laughter? And now we need to look for Lisa. Yep. So we need to get close enough to where she sees us, but we don't get caught by her. Fucking hell. Okay, once you hear that, don't move. Do not move at all. Okay, there's the third laughter. Then you can move. Phone rings. Answer it by zooming in. You've been chosen. And go through. Really creepy. Really, really well done. I like that a lot. Um, I'm not really sure if this was going to be anything like Silent Hills. Um, this is really cool. Yeah, and then you get this, um, depending on if you're on a controller or using a keyboard, you can get um, uh, the Konami code, essentially, and you can get the flashlight and start sprinting. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Again, really, really short, obviously, you saw um really really scary though this playing it you know for the first time was fucking terrifying but um yeah hopefully uh more videos coming soon that's it thanks